Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. Before I go into this video, I wanted to tell you this is the third attempt I have made at doing an updated summer flip through. And if this one doesn't go better, I won't do one for a very long time. Um, I wanted to do an update of my summer flip through. I haven't done a video in about a month. Uh, my summer, my summer decor isn't really, it's, it's not my favorite. I love the fall decor and obviously Christmas decor. And I do have some summer stuff and you'll see, I mean, I guess it's a lot of stuff. It's just not as festive, but let's get into it. If you hear waves in the background, I have a beach scene playing because I love the beach. And you will see in my planner just how much I do love the beach. So this, I've done a flip through a review of this cover. I got this cover, um, let me think. I can't, it was on Etsy and my previous video is a review of it that goes into detail about where I got it and what I think of it. But I obviously love it, I'm still using it. I can snap it if I don't have the pen here, then I can close it. But I use it so much that I just keep the strap at today and I just leave it like this. Honestly, even when I take it to work in my bag, I just stick it in like this. But it will snap if I don't have the pen attached. I love these pens, and I will link them below. Um, it's an eye gel, no, an ink gel, and I get them from Amazon, and I will put the link to that. So let's just get right into it. On the front, I have a jumbo uh, animal print Ollie clip I got from Etsy. I've had it about a year now, and I love it. Love it. I've got uh, one more that's black and white buffalo plaid, but this one looks really nice on the brown of this cover. This cover is patina and aging well, and it's my favorite for sure. Um, on the inside, I have just a coffee sticker. I will link those below. It's a pack I got on Amazon. And actually, my last video I linked them, and I've seen them in one other person's flip through where she had bought them from the link, which was great. Um, I have a couple post-it notes here. Uh, I just keep these on the ready. And I have a little card that came in a, an anniversary card from my hubby. And I just put a couple stickies on that. I use stickies every day. So I have to have lots of them handy. Um, I got this little tin of stickies at Hobby Lobby. And I just love them. I'm going through them so fast. Um, I just keep a couple movie stickers here because I use those every other night or so. When me and hubby watch a movie, I'll put a sticker and put what we watched. Um, in this little thing, I have a stamp, I have a little thing of washi tape that I keep on the ready because I use that too. I like to keep enough stuff to do a minimal decorating when I'm out at work or you know, not here. Just stuff I have handy that I can do. Uh, this little, this is a jelly folder that I got from Salty Katie. And it, you can see it just has a sideways um, entry. And I put a little bow clip I got from Etsy. It's a little holographic glitter bow. And just a picture of my dog Thor is in here. And I really like this. It's heavy duty and it actually helps maintain um, the front of my papers where they can get a little ragged because of my, I, have, I put 30 millimeter rings in this and it's chocked full. So this does a really good job of protecting the front pages and it's pretty. Holographic stars, Salty Katie. Um, this I got from a package of scrapbooking stuff I got on Amazon. I've had it so long I don't I don't even know 
what it came with, but I use it daily. I have it stuffed full of different post-it notes that I got from Hobby Lobby, and you'll see in my dailies that I use these every day. Um, here's some vellum protecting this paper. This is just Hobby Lobby paper, and I will link these coffee stickers, like I said, below. I have them all through the planner. Here is a little um, military name badge. My boss had me make everybody at work one of these and used their nickname as their call sign. This is mine. Um, here is my monthly insert that I get from Amazon. I will link this below and I'll show you what it looks like. It's very affordable and I've never found one I like as much as this. It's tabbed, the paper is heavy, and there's so much space to write. At the end of each month, it gives you a recap and then a preview of what's coming up. And I'll just flip through these. You can see, I do a little bit of decorating on them. Not a whole lot. Upcoming March. Recap, upcoming April. Busy summer months. This was when we went on vacation. I was so excited, I laminated the reservation. <laughs> and I put some beach stickers on the back. You're gonna see a lot of beach stickers in this and I'll link them below. I got them on Amazon and they are the best beach stickers I have ever found. They have a very vintage feel, vintage California surfing type feel. This is a picture of me and my hubby in a mood when we went to see the Top Gun release of Maverick. I was so excited. I've waited for two years for that movie to open and it finally opened. Um, this is my weekly divider because even though this is a monthly insert, um, I use it by the week and it's just the way I keep track of each week. And I just put stickers over some of the photos that I don't want to show. Here's more of these beach stickers. And as you can see, they kind of have a 1970s vibe. 1970s California beach vibe. And I've put them all over all the summer months. Oh, I just love these. This is my July... We're in July now, so I've only recapped a couple things, and this is August. I don't really plan ahead. I like to try to stay in the current week. I don't go ahead. More stickers. Isn't that awesome? And like I said, I only put them on the summer months, and then as of September, October, I didn't put any more because these will all have fall leaves and pumpkins. I love the fall and the Christmas decorating. So these are empty. Here's a picture from a couple weeks ago when Hubby and I were in Nags Head. I put a sticker on that, laminated it, put some stickers on the back. Just some craft paper from Hobby Lobby. More of the coffee stickers. This is an expense tracker, and it's not for bills. It's just for my frivolous spending. Just to, I don't know. It helps me not spend as much, because if I have to look at all the money I'm spending, I, I try to curtail it. Here is my habit tracker. I'll link that below the the, the image of that, and I just use it for annual things that I want to track, car expenses and medical and inspections and personal property and stuff like that. And these are just my YouTube videos. I like to keep track of what videos I do and how many subscribers I have. I have the best subscribers in the whole world. And here's my favorite planners. These four are the ones I just... Their planners are just the my idea of planner perfection, these. Here's my baby Lucy. And here is my, this is my list section where I keep all my lists. I should have said that when I left the monthly. So these are all my lists and 
Here's my puppy's vet care, my car um, purchase information. Here's me and my hubby again. Here's our the information about our boat and a picture of our boat. And this is my laminated cell phone bill. I keep that with my truck. No, I'm sorry. This is my boat insurance policy. And here's more of those stickers. My medical history, prescription allergies, dental history, employment, it's like a little resume, my salary history every year. This is my cell phone bill I laminated just so I know what charges I'm paying for on different devices. And just special dates. I did this in Word. Just put some stickers. I did have a fold out, but I, I killed it with use. This is a list of my full, of the full moons. I like to refer to this. I use this a lot. Uh, Mercury retrograde. This is just a piece of lamb. I put these all through my planner to protect certain pages. I just put an initial on it. This is my natal chart and two of my favorite Tarot cards. Another picture of me and my hubby last summer. And I keep a little travel log of when we go away for the weekend, if we do any special fun things. Packing my suitcase. I use this a lot. This is a personal note from somebody. Personal memento. Another initial page. I love this paper from Hobby Lobby. It's sunflowers, but it's done in pink and, and burgundy instead of the typical orange and browns. Here's a little collage of last February. We had a really nice month, and I just did a little collage of Valentine's and things we did. Um, here's a little pocket that holds some laminated money. I always keep this in my planner. I love, I love money. Who doesn't? Here's my military ID, but it's got my social and a lot of personal information. Another picture of me, a hobby. More of that paper that I love. When fall comes, I'll take out all of my, um, just all of, all of my decor and I'll put in all new fall and then do it again for Christmas. Here's some blank pages for future things I need to keep a record of. There's a picture of me and hubby from last fall, winter. Um, this is a little um, bookmark, a holographic bow bookmark. It's so pretty. I just punched holes in it because it always would keep sliding out. It's just so beautiful. Got that on Etsy, but I don't remember from who. Might have been Salty Katie. And here's some more pretty paper with those coffee stickers. Pink paper with gold foiled, foiled bows. Another picture of me and hubby. Another picture hubby took of me at the boat. More of these vintage stickers. Man. They almost look like the old Pan Am stickers. And here's another Etsy Buy, more holographic purple glitter. I keep this here because we vacation in Nags Head each year, and it's my favorite place on the East Coast. And I just love this little map. And here is my daily insert, a Filofax daily I get from Amazon, and I will link that below. And I just keep about two or three weeks in here, and then I move it to another planner that holds just my completed dailies and I'll just flip through some of these it's one day per page um, two pages per day is too much for me I can I mean I, I can barely fill up one whole daily it's the perfect size I can draw and doodle and use stickers but I don't need any more than that but I just love doodling each day and just putting 
Well, obviously, I write down appointments and things I need to do, but then around that, I just like to doodle and put what I did. I just love this insert. It wasn't, it's it's pretty cheap. It's like, I don't know, $12, $14, I think. And it's just perfect. It has a whole page for each weekday, and then on the weekend, it splits it on the right-hand side into two. I'll show you what I mean. Here it is. Here's Saturday and Sunday. I just use those post-it notes and a few stickers. Maybe now and then I'll use a little bit of washi. More of those coffee stickers are so cute. And then here's today. I have a today that I made. I just find stuff on Google like this bow and I just put it on the laminated sheet and I put a sticker. And I use this like as a dashboard to put my store list and, or say I had a hair appointment in a day or two, I just stick it on there. And then here's today. And I have maybe two weeks, about two weeks, three weeks of empties. And then I just use my strap as my bookmark for the day. More of that pretty little pink donut paper. And I printed this on my Walgreens phone app. I just found it on Google and I thought, I love pink. Another dashboard that says habit tracker. This is where I keep all my tracking habit trackers. picture I don't want to show. This is my annual nutritional tracker. I just have the month, each month across the top and then 30 days. And I just put a dot for every day that I eat really clean, whole foods, plant-based, no oils. And then the squares are where I might have had like something processed, like a veggie burger, or I might have had something I don't know, pasta noodles. But the dots are where I'm really, really perfect. That's about the average. Every seven days, I might have a couple of days, like on the weekend, where I go out to eat and I have something that's processed. This is my mood tracker. I just, uh, the zero right here is the middle, and then like below zero is a bad day, and obviously above zero is a good day, and I just track how I go throughout the months. Notice any trends. This is August, this is next month. And I made these in Excel. I made this nutritional tracker in Excel. Here is June. Boy, I had some bad days in June. Then here is my step counter. I made this in Word. And I just record my steps every day. I walk about three miles every day. And then throughout the course of the day, I usually get another couple miles just, you know, doing what you got to do. So I just like to keep track of that. Give me incentive to get as many steps as I can. If I'm having a really good day, I might hit 14,000. Here is my meal planning section. My family photo. I have a list of dinner ideas. Here is a weight log, but I don't need to show my beginning weight. I'm at my goal now, and I've been at my goal for a couple years. Um, these are my measurements. I started the starch solution a couple years ago, and I've maintained the weight loss, and I have a video about that in my list of video library, if you're interested in watching it. Um, these are all my goal photos once I hit my goal weight and I've been really happy and just photos that make me feel good and give me incentive to stay on track. And then this is my work section. And this is why I've had to re-record the video twice because I thought I had everything covered and I turned it and I had 
um, bad stuff that I cannot show about my boss and coworkers, and, um, personal information, um, airline security numbers, because I book a lot of travel and stuff. I can't go through this section. I also have all my passwords all the staff cell phone directories and all that's laminated. So I can't go through any of that. I will um, show you the very back is just um, the menu from when we went to see Top Gun. Like I said, I'm really nerdy about, I'm ex-military and I love military movies and I'm really nerdy about Top Gun. I saw it twice in the theater already, twice, and I might see it one more time before it leaves. Um, and then in the back, I just have a couple things like this planner belongs to and um, this planner girl sticker uh, or image that I like. And just a couple things. I don't fill the back, the covers too much because my planner is so fat and the bulk of it's in the middle. So I try not to stuff covers and I'm not big on those back pockets either. So this that's why I love this color, cover so much. I have a couple um, little charms. They both came from Hobby Lobby. And that's it. I, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please feel free and comment. I love to answer your questions and talk with all of you. So I hope you have a great day and a great rest of your summer. Bye.